started out uh, several generations ago when her parents came over from Germany back in the early 20s, 1920s, and uh, started out probably across the other side Down of the, the end of Canal Street, a construction business, coal yard, and construction, you know, sand, gravel, ma building material yard, and uh, made concrete blocks for many, many years. And then from there we moved to, across the street, uh, Lamont Street. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many years, what do you think? Well, probably back in the 30s. Yeah. What, you started working there when you were, what, 12 years old? <laughs> Four, 14 years 14 old. 14 years old. <laughs> I've been working 77 years in a yeah. store. Yeah. And that that was the second location. Yeah, the second spot. And then probably back in what the 50s? 1960, I think 19. we moved um, right on the corner here. On the corner and that till property was was uh, purchased and they put put the new what what highway road is that? Well, then they put the the bridge in in 1981, Lamont yeah. Road Bridge, and uh, we were forced to move just up the block to the fourth location. So this is the fourth location, and we've been here like 40, 40 years in yeah. this spot. Well, my father passed away in 1948. Yeah. So then uh, my brother Art and I started the hardware business shortly after that. And he, Art passed away like five, probably five years oh, ago. Yeah. He's gone that long. Art mostly took care of the outside with the construction, trucking, excavating, and uh, Elsie ran the hardware business. And then uh, I came along and uh, started out part-time and kind of liked it. And I thought, well, she you know, offered say, well, let's uh, have you come in full-time. And uh, ended up, uh, we married the daughter, and her and I were married, and uh, been here ever since, so it's, been a long haul too, but we <laughs> so raised we raised three great kids. They're all doing quite well, and uh, so everybody's happy. My granddaughter Lisa <coughs> works here. She does the screen repair, you know, and good plumber. Anybody with a plumbing problem, she could fix anything. She's better than most most men. Yeah. Very very up on a, on yeah, all. She's not that not type. afraid to work, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, hard work and hard kids. Worker. And my son, he kind of uh, took after his uncle Art, Elsie's brother. He uh, is in the construction business, and uh, Art was always real proud of him, watching him grow up too, because you know he showed him a lot of things too, and uh, so it worked out worked out pretty good for him. The hardware business probably has changed a lot over the years too, because. Uh, you know, you're up against the, the big box stores, the Home Depots, the Menards, Walmart, all of them. So uh, the last few years, you know, it's been a steadily downward decline and we decided here a couple of years back enough was enough. So we quit ordering and that's been a little over two years now and uh, we finally were able to sell the property after several years. and. Uh, We've gotten uh, rid of a lot of stuff, cabinets, and now, you know, mostly it's the pickers that come in for what's left. I had 150 antique purses. I have about 100 left, yeah. so I'll probably never, Started. never sell those. I guess we would probably be here for another month and a half or so before we have to finally... And we have lots, lots of stock lot to of get bargains. rid of, cheap, real bargains. Yeah, everything, ba what's left based on 50, 60, 70, 80 percent, you know, depending on what it is. And then after that, it's still negotiable, so it's uh, got to get rid of the merchandise. I miss all my good, friendly customers there. Yeah. I really don't have many friends. All my friends are here at the hardware store. That's the ones I yeah. have, you know. Yeah. Well, being here six days a week, you know, uh, you know, 10, yeah. 11 hour days, she hasn't really done too much on the outside. Her, you know, her, her whole life has been 
down here on Canal Street. I just had a customer from California that hadn't been here for many, many years. You know, we come in, well, I, I didn't recognize him, but of course he said, how about a hug? I haven't seen you for so long. <laughs> but that's how, that's how people are, you know, very, very nice, good customers. Yeah, we certainly have had a lot of good good people come through over the years. They uh, good customers, you know, they're always here. It seemed like to be a meeting place too for a lot of the old timers. You know, they come down and have their coffee and. Now yesterday, yeah. I had a customer took me for a ride in a convertible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Insisted we go for a ride. Yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, we went cruising for about yeah. 15 minutes. <laughs> my my home's probably been neglected, so I have a lot a lot of things to do at home, mm -hmm. you know, and I probably won't be here that long anyway. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep her busy. So it's. Yeah. Uh, it's been a good life, like I said, I, with raising uh, three kids, they're all doing well, all grown up now, of course, And uh, but it's time to turn the page, you know. That's, I'll probably have to go find another job now. Yeah, I'll have to maybe uh, <laughs> apply at Walmart or someplace as a greeter, but the wife says my stories are too long anyhow, so that probably wouldn't work out because, you know, people coming into the store, they wouldn't have a chance to do much shopping once we started talking. I would come, come to work, you know, every morning. I mean, I, it's going to be, and, it's, and it is already, you know, I think about it, and <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be here than home. <laughs> but that's my life here. Yeah. Yeah, living in a hardware store.